As you know, coral reefs are threatened by lots of things today. Some of the major threats include overfishing and bad fit fishing practices, pollution, things like sedimentation due to poor land practices. Uh, but there's a significant threat from climate change. And in particular, uh, coral reefs are undergoing a phenomenon called coral bleaching, where they lose the symbiotic algae in their tissues and turn white and often die. Uh, this phenomenon has become very common in the last few decades. And some of the predictions with continued uh, climate change in the future is that by the middle of this century we will lose almost all of our coral reefs. I don't exactly agree with those predictions and in fact I think what we should be doing with our research now instead of putting our research into these predictions is to actually put our research into finding those reefs which are most likely to succeed during this century with continued global warming. So what we did is we have a team now of, of people, of physical oceanographers and of biological oceanographers to look at this. We focused on an area in the oceans called the Western Pacific Warm Pool. And we looked at this region because this is an area where temperatures are thought to be capped by feedback processes that prevent the water from getting warmer than say about 31 degrees Celsius. So we First of all, we looked at this region to see if it's warming at a rate uh, the same or less than the rest of the tropics. And indeed, when we looked at the past 50 years, it looks like waters in the Western Pacific Warm Pool are warming less, or at least more slowly, than the rest of the oceans. So that's good news. Second, we looked at the coral bleaching in this region. Uh, we found that the corals uh, here in the West Pacific Warm Pool uh, bleached far less than in other regions of the, of the tropics. And so that's good news. So what we're finding is that, at least in this century, it appears that the waters in the West Pacific Warm Pool have warmed less than elsewhere and that the coral bleaching patterns have been less there. And so our conclusion is that we need to do research to look at this area more closely and similar areas because this is where we should be putting our conservation efforts for coral reefs.